Hello, how are you? This is Teacher Juan. We are going to start a new unit, the Organization of the Living Things, and I want you to pay attention, okay? You can stop the video in case you want to write down something or whatever. Okay, so we are going to start with this Organization of Living Things. This unit, I have divided it in different sessions, okay? We are going to start with Vital Functions, after the second session will be about the size of living things, after that the cell, the organisms, the types of organisms uh, that exist, and finally the types of cell that we can find. Okay, we are going to start, as I said, with these vital functions. And what are vital functions? Okay, we are going to read it's all living things, animal or plants, need to perform these three functions to live. That is why these functions are known as the vital functions. Okay? I think it's clear, it's quite easy. So these are functions that we, the animals or the plants, all the living things, need to do to live. Okay? And they are three. Okay? So three functions. Uh, the first one is nutrition. Okay? As you know, nutrition has to do with food. We are going to see it. Nutrition, it says. All the living things need to get nutrients to live. Animal, animals, like us, or like the giraffe here, eat to get energy from the food. Plants need water and sunlight, among other things, to for perform this function, okay? So, we all need to eat and get nutrients, okay? From food or from the things we drink, okay? But uh, plants don't eat. They make their own food by a process called photosynthesis. You know it, you have studied it, you remember it? Yes. Uh, they need some light, minerals, uh, water. They take it from the roots to cook to make their own food, okay? And we take the nutrients direct, directly from the food we eat, okay? It's important for you to know that's the first of the three basic vital functions, okay? Let's see. Now, the second one is interaction. And what is interaction? Let's see. Interaction, it says, all the living things need to get adapted to changes in the environment. And this is called interaction. I'm going to explain it a little bit. Uh, in this picture you can see two lions that are fighting maybe to be the one who rules, the, the most important one in the group of lions. Okay, That's a way of interacting. Okay? We uh, now we are here at home, we cannot go out, and we are getting adapted to that. That's another way of interaction. And maybe the sunflowers, the sunflowers that uh, turn around look, you know, to look at the sun, to receive, to face the sun, that's another uh, type of interaction, okay? We need to interact to live, okay? To, ad to get adapted. To, to the environment. And that was the second of the viral functions and now we are going to continue with the third one. And which one is the third one? Very important, reproduction. Reproduction, wait, one minute. Reproduction is very important. It says, all the living things need to reproduce to perpetuate their species. This means to form a new life. There are different types of reproduction, okay? There are different types of reproduction. You know it. You know that we don't, uh, don't reproduce as the chicken we can see here in the, in, the pig, in the picture, okay? They are oviparous. We are viviparous. And uh, the plants, of course, the plants don't lay eggs and don't have babies. So there is another type of reproduction. But all the living things, if they want 
to continue existing, to continue their um, their species, need to reproduce. Okay, so let's see three vital functions: one, nutrition, interaction, and reproduction. Nutrition take nutrients. Interaction get adapted to the environment and reproduction to have new to new, to have babies if you wanna say it okay and that is the today's lesson I think it's quite easy as you know you've got a, you've got your homework in the blog so you can check it and do it I hope everything's okay and that's it uh, see you in the next session. Bye-bye.